So today we're here to talk about avoiding the Christmas 15, maintaining your weight during the holidays. And we actually have a challenge that you could join after, which is free, and essentially avoiding the Christmas 15. Anybody here ever gain weight during the holidays? <laughs> So that's one thing that I was able to see is a, it's kind of like a, a recurring theme every holiday season. We gather around the table. There's a big turkey. You know, a lot of things are going on. Hold on. So what happens is, you know, we want to start bodybuilding, but not that type of bodybuilding, right? We start eating and eating and <laughs> the personal trainer is saying, hey, what, what are you doing, right? So. I have five steps. This is going to be a very short presentation. I have five steps that I ask people to try out during the holiday season. Okay, so we're going to go through these five steps. Number one, reading labels. All right, so here this guy is, a chocolate munchie, only 100 calories. Awesome. He eats it. Wait, that's 100 calories per munchie. How many of you have eaten and eaten a whole bag of chips and you look on the side of it, it's it's really for three or four people, right? You have to read the labels. You have to read the serving size. Very simple. All right, so when you're eating, washing it down, eggnog. How many of you know how much calories are in one serving of eggnog? <laughs> Give me a guess. Give me a guess. 1,200. Mm -mm. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Yes, it's, that's very close. It's 343 calories in one cup of eggnog. And usually what happens, we add some rum to that, and we might put it in a really big glass, or maybe we add even another glass. So one thing that happens is you want to start reading the labels before you get to your party. So we say read the level, labels and plan ahead. So if you know you're going to a party and they're going to have a certain type of food, maybe you sign on to the website I got this from was CalorieCounter.com. Com. So CalorieCounter.com, you could put in many of the different type of things that you like to eat, and they'll tell you how many calories are actually in the food. So, yeah, I was thinking that because mm -hmm. I read labels. Yeah. People don't have labels in their food at home. Right, exactly. They don't have labels in their food, but usually you have it before you start to make what you want to make. And we actually have a chef here, Chef Neil, that's going to show us some of the healthy, healthier things that we could do or substitutions that we could use to make the same things still taste good and still be healthy, right? So offer to bring a low calorie dish to your holiday party. How many times do we say, oh, I'll bring the mac and cheese, or I'll bring the candy yams, or I'll bring the collard greens with the ham hocks and the extra grease in it, right? So maybe you'll be that one person that says, I'll bring the low calorie dish. Maybe you'll go ahead and bring the salad and you'll put some cheese and some chicken. You know, you be that person to have the lower calorie item. So at least you know, your dish is healthy.